live in the fellowship hall and here in the sanctuary. Certainly, if you're visiting, we welcome you here to Crossroads and uh, pray a blessing over you while you're here. A um, couple of announcements. Uh, uh, announcing again that Shane and Renee has uh, scheduled a time on uh, the 3rd of December at 6.30 at the Dawsonville Walmart. That's when they're going to be uh, collecting uh, items for the kids for the Hightower Baptist Association. So please remember that. Uh, anybody that wants to give donations, I know they're here today. Uh, please provide those as they plan and prepare for that event. Um, also, uh, notice again, uh, we still have this little bracelet here. It says faith on it, so if anybody's missing a, a little bracelet of some sort, it uh, may have been dropped in the parking lot here uh, some days prior to last week. Um, so uh, let us know or come check it out. Make sure if, if you're missing one that there's one here. Are there any other announcements? Michael. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Reminder about Bible study on uh, Wednesday. Taylor yeah. is... All right, remember that on Wednesday, uh, Bible study. Uh, Mike, we announced last Sunday, but on December the 11th, so a week from this coming Friday, we're going to go to Bethel's uh, Nativity Production at the church. Um, so we encourage each and every one of the church members, whoever wants to go, to come out and be with us. Um, we're going to try to meet up there around 6 or 6.15, 6 or 6 somewhere in that range. Um, but we'd like to encourage all the church to go with us. Youth and uh, older so. Certainly remember that and pass the word around. Any other announcements? My thank you for announcing that. And just wanna, we do have a lot of fun shopping. So um, we do have more kids this year. So as many people who can help us shop, that would be great. But it is a lot of fun in fellowship for anybody who hasn't came before. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you can come and shop, and then if you don't feel. You know, comfortable standing in line, you can leave your bug in, and then we, we can ring everything out. We do it all there, so we can bag up everybody's toys there as we're ringing out, and then we'll take it. So we, there's no coming back to the fellowship hall to wrap anything or anything like that. We can do it all there in the checkout line. So it's usually a pretty quick process once we get going. So, uh, But anybody's more, more than welcome to come out and have a good time. So, Yep, remember that. Any others? And Mike, on December 13th, um, this Sunday, um, we will have, right after church, will be youth choir practice, and then we're going to have a little Christmas party in the fellowship hall after church for all the youth. So. Yes, yes, remember that on the 13th of December. Yeah. Any others? And just a reminder, if you have a family ornament for the tree in the fellowship hall, it is ready you can go for it. Yeah, remember to add the family ornaments. If you haven't brought one uh, uh, for any new families, we'd certainly be glad to have those on the tree in the fellowship hall. Any others? If not, we'll begin the service. Thank you. 
We're thankful for that this morning, Tanner, the song, and thankful to see each and every one of you here this morning. We hope and pray that you had a wonderful Thanksgiving, that you've had a blessed Sunday morning, and enjoyed getting up and getting ready to come to the house of the Lord. Certainly this morning, those that are listening by way of Facebook, we want to welcome you this morning to this hour service at Crossroads, and for those that's in the fellowship, Paul, maybe we, we appreciate you being here. And we just love the Lord Jesus Christ. We appreciate uh, this time of year that we're coming upon this Christmas season, how special that it is. So today, I hope and pray that if there's somebody here that does not know the Lord Jesus Christ, this might be the good day. They come and accept Him before it's everlasting too late. And I hope and pray that those that may be listening, that you might be encouraged this morning, that everyone might know that Jesus, that He's alive He's well this morning. So we're going to go to the Lord in prayer uh, before we read scripture this morning. And I'm going to ask Brother Charles Grinnell if he would lead us while we pray. Most kind and gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you for another opportunity to call on your name. God, I thank you for this little church that sits by the road here where we can come and worship you, God. And thank you, Lord, for the spirit we feel every time we walk in the door, God. Lord, we thank you for the people that's come out this morning, Lord, to be here and hear your word, God. We worry that they ain't listening to you as good as they used to, Lord. And Lord, we pray, Heavenly Father, that this message will go out to people on Facebook, that's looking on Facebook and around. And God, we just pray for this. That you just take your will on this service, God. Let, it, let your spirit float down out of the rafters to this place and go from breast to breast, God. And give us what we need for our daily Lord. And God, we pray, we pray for this for our church, if we would pray it for the others around this community, God. Just lift everybody up this Christmas season, God. And the ones that sat, God, Lord, we hope you and pray, God, that you fill them up a little bit too. Be first asking thy name. Amen. Thank you, Charles, this morning for that good humble prayer. And some of you this morning may have your Bibles, and if you do, we'll you turn with us to very familiar scripture found in the book of Daniel, the third chapter. We're going to read three verses, 16, 17, and 18 this morning. You pray for just a little while. We just have a little thought that we want to share with you. And we hope and pray this morning that when we leave this place, we can say it's been good once again to be in the house of the Lord. This is what the Bible says in the 16th verse. It says, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer thee in this matter. If it be so, our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace, and he will deliver us out of thy hand, O king. But if not, be it known un unto thee, king, O king, that we will not serve thy gods nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. This morning, I feel like that's all that we'll read in your hearing at this time. And this morning, church, certainly we covet each and every one of your prayers here this morning. But if I had a little thought that I want to try to share with you this morning, it would simply be this. Either way, we're going to serve the Lord. Either way, we're going to serve the Lord. I thought about how that the day and time that we're living in today... I thought about the uncertainty. I thought about this last past week as families gathered together and how that things maybe were done a little differently. How maybe that you didn't get together together with some of your family members. Things were just a little bit different. But either way, no doubt, you tried to do the very best that you could do that you might have Thanksgiving, that you might give thanks unto the Lord Jesus Christ. Either way, you try to do your very best in serving the Lord. I thought about how that you and I today, how that we've lived to a day and time, even in this Christmas season. We think about everything that goes on, and I thought about the true meaning of Christmas, even this last past week, and I know that you think about that also. You think about what the true meaning is. And no doubt we've lived to a day and time when we see so much commercial things about Christmas. But I want you to know today that either way, I'm going to stand for what Christmas is truly all about. What about you? Either way, I want to serve the Lord. 
I thought about, we can also think about this morning, how that different situations in life, different seasons that we go through in life, sometimes it causes you and I uh, to wonder sometimes just where God is and just of what He's doing in the situation that is at hand. I thought about how that no doubt, even in the day and times that we're living in, and no doubt there's people today how that just feel like that God how does not have the power that He once had. It just feels like that God has nowhere to be found. How there's so many things that's going on in the lives of people. Or so many people today are in situations that they felt like that they would ne never be in. How, but I want you to know this morning, church, and be encouraged in Jesus. How that either way this morning, how we're going to serve the Lord. Listen, how these scriptures that we read and you're hearing this morning, how why about the day and time of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and this king Nebuchadnezzar, and all the power that he had, and the authority that he had. And you can read in the scriptures and see how where it was his a plan to set up how this golden image how right there in the midst of Babylon, right there in the middle of the city. And you can see where it was his decree, how while when the music was played, how that people would bow down, how why and worship, how the golden image that had been set up how by him. How listen, I want to get that across to this morning. How while you see it was his thoughts, it was his decree how uh, well that he how uh, well was presenting how uh, well unto the people today uh, so many times I uh, think about the world we live in today how uh, there's too many how uh, well ideas and decrees uh, that are being presented how uh, well in the world we live in today uh, what we need is the word of God uh, what we need today is to stand on uh, the very word of God today how that's why either way, how why we need to serve the Lord. How listen, how this decree that the king, how why that he presented unto the people, how why everyone heard, how why the consequences, how for not bowing down, how to the golden image, how why that you be placed into a fiery, how why furnace, how why there your life would be consumed. I listen this morning, how why I thought about how, how why in the day and times, how why Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, how no doubt, how why, how they was faithful people, how why Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego was, how but no doubt there was even folks in that time and time a generation how that had faith in God, how that when they heard, how why the decree and heard of all these things, how why their faith became weak, how they might have been how faithful to God, how but yet when how they thought about death could come to them, how their faith might have got weak and they might have bowed down after the golden image. Listen today, I'll show you one thing, how we're living in a, a dark time, how we in the world today, how we're living in a confused time, how but it's not time how for God's people how to lose faith in God, how but yet our faith be strengthened, how well either way, how whatever's going on, how either way we're going to serve how God today, oh listen this morning, how wow, how when the music was played, how wow well you'll read God's word and you'll see where Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, how wow well they did not bow down to the golden image and listen the word got back to the king there. How wow, well there's some Jews, how wow well these three are not bowing down, how wow well what, how the decree that you've made, how wow well how they're going their own way, they're doing their own thing. How listen today, how well, I'll show you one thing. If there's ever been a time when God's people need to look, how well the world we live in today as peculiar people, as the Bible says, it's a day and times that we're living in. Oh, that the world may see how that God's people are still are trusting in the Almighty God. And either way, how we're going to serve how the Lord today, how listen I thought about how this morning when how these three was brought how before
before the king and I thought about the authority that he had. Oh, the power that he had. How wild they knew. How wild for their destination. How wild where it was going to lie. How they knew where they was headed. How wild in. How wild that fiery furnace. How they was not ignorant about this. How they knew how the consequences. How wild being faithful today. How to listen sometimes. Oh, I'm so afraid that the Christians in our world today, how well we're fearful of the consequences of by the world today of being faithful unto the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, but I got news for you this morning how the one that saved you and I, how the one that we serve, he never leaves us nor forsakes you and I. He's there with you now to the very end. And no matter where we're at, no matter how what is going on, He's looking for our faith uh, that we have in Him and just do all that we can do in our possibilities uh, to stand for Him. And when we do this, He takes care of the rest. Uh, listen today, how He's won it all today. How uh, there's never been a battle uh, that you and I have ever faced and we will face, ever will face. Uh, that the Lord Jesus Christ is not capable of uh, while taking care of today. Listen, I thought about how easy it would have been when Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego began to have this conversation. Oh, with the king there. Uh, While wow, they might have could have changed their mind. Uh, listen, they might have kind of got a little wishy-washy about things. Uh, but listen, they stuck. Oh, to the true and living God. Uh, listen, how they begin to speak uh, unto the king and say, listen, uh, we're not careful in the manner that we're going to answer you with. How uh, We know that the God that we serve, he's able to deliver us out of your hand right now and listen to things of uh, what they would say if it don't go our way. Uh, listen, we're still going to serve him anyway. Uh, what they would tell the king, if you're going to put us in the fiery furnace. If death is coming to us, uh, we're still going to have faith uh, in the true and living God. Uh, they was looking beyond the world. Uh, they was looking to heavenly things. Uh, they was looking, uh, listen, either way, in serving the Lord. Uh, listen, this morning, I thought about how uh, while when they began to speak these words, uh, around all the counselors, around all the governors around the king, uh, while that helped him and looked after him, uh, while they was hearing these words uh, that was being spoken out of their mouth uh, in faith today, I thought about what a witness it was. Uh, how while that uh, Babylon there, uh, what a witness uh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego uh, while I was having there. Uh, while just being faithful and serving the Lord, uh, while where they was at and the circumstances they'd been dealt with. Oh, this morning, there's so many people. Oh, in the year 2020, oh, as we look back, how they've been dealt with some circumstances. How uh, listen today. And I'm thankful for those uh, that either way, they just stayed faithful. Uh, listen, just serve the Lord. Uh, listen this morning. Uh, I thought about how uh, when Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, uh, when the king, his rage and his fury uh, was so mad against them uh, because they wouldn't change their way. Uh, they wouldn't change who they was. He began to be uh, wrathful against them. How uh, does that uh, sound familiar to you? Oh, Satan today, I believe with everything that's in me. When God's people, oh, stand up, he begins to be wrathful. Uh, he begins to be angry. Uh, listen, he begins uh, how to want people, uh, God's people to be discouraged. Uh, uh, listen today, he would love how uh, to take this Christmas season, how uh, wide twist it all around. Uh, listen for God's people, how uh, wide to think, how uh, wide that God, how uh, wide is not here, not looking after us uh, uh, like he has in times past. He wants to confuse everything. Uh, the Bible teaches us that he is the author of confusion today. Oh, but I'll show you one thing. Either way, in this Christmas season, let's still serve uh, the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, this morning, how uh, why he 
of the king. He heated that furnace up uh, seven times what it was. Uh, listen, you read in God's word uh, where he wrapped Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego uh, while where they couldn't move. Uh, uh, listen, he wanted to do away with them. Uh, listen, he wanted to get rid of the witness today. Uh, listen, oh, uh, the church today, oh, Satan wants to beat it down. Uh, listen, he wants to get rid of the witness of the Lord Jesus Christ. He wants to get rid of why people are promoting around Christmas what the true meaning of Christmas is. It's all about the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, but today, how we don't need to feel bound down today. Oh, we need to feel how free in the Spirit of the Lord Jesus Christ. Listen, how the Bible says how that when the king, he sent the men, their servants, how about to take Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and cast them into this fire. How listen, the fire was so hot, how did it consume the men? How about it cast them into the fire? How that's how hot it was. How that's the danger, how long that they was in. But they still remain faithful. Now listen, this morning, the year 2020, it's been a little different. We all got to agree on that, wouldn't you say? Uh, but I'll assure you one thing. Uh, you may say, preacher, we've been in the furnace. Uh, listen, uh, we've been through troubled times. Uh, listen, <laughs> oh, tell you this morning the good news of the gospel. How the Lord Jesus Christ, how uh, when Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, uh, when they went in that fiery furnace, how uh, uh, listen, we'll get to it in a little bit. I'll let you know who was already there. How uh, while the Lord Jesus Christ, how uh, uh, listen this morning, how uh, while the year 2020, how uh, you know who was, has already been there and who is here with us now is the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, and this year begins to come to an end and the uncertainty of another year and then I'm not knowing what's going to happen. How do you know who still holds it all in his hand is our Savior today and he's alive and well and sitting at the right hand of the Father today. I'm making intercessions for you and I. I listen. I, he's aware of everything that's going on in this world today. He's aware of where you're at this morning. Oh, listen, if you're in a hospital, uh, why, and you're sick, and you've had uh, things went on in your life, uh, uh, listen, he's aware this morning. Uh, uh, listen, he's just wanting to see your faith. Uh, uh, why, that either way, uh, you're going to serve the Lord. Uh, listen, this morning, uh, families, how uh, uh, where uh, the death angel has touched, uh, I'll show you one thing. How uh, why? Either way, just serve the Lord. Uh, listen, this morning, families that's going through uh, difficult times, how uh, why in their life, how uh, why they're separated, how uh, why from spouse, how uh, they're separated from children, how uh, why they're not able to see them, how uh, they're not able to go to the nursing homes, how uh, why in the hospitals and visit them, how uh, why what they'd like to, how uh, listen, still stay faithful. Oh, in the Lord Jesus Christ, I still let your witness, I let your light I so shine before men that it might glorify the Father that is in heaven today. That's what the Bible teaches us of the book of Matthew. Either way, in the day and times that we're living in, still serve the Lord. Amen. Still serve Him today. Oh, today. Oh, Satan, he wants a trace. How that of a foothold. How listen to our world today. How listen, church, it's important more than any time, how more than any generation, how that we do all that we can do to stay in for the Lord Jesus Christ. Listen this morning. I believe Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, I believe they've done all they can do to stay in, don't you? Oh, I can just see them. Doing all that they was possibly I could do to stay in. 
And listen, they went into that fiery furnace. And listen, the Bible says, uh, why? Uh, that in that fiery furnace, uh, uh, they begin to look in. And listen, they seen uh, while they're moving around. Uh, they seen they was loose, uh, uh, moving around down there. Uh, why in that fiery furnace? Uh, uh, but you go on and read in God's word what the king, uh, when he looked in there, what he seen. Uh, why he said there's just not three, uh, but there's four. And they're loose walking. And listen, the fourth one is like unto the Son, a wild man, the Son of God today. Uh, listen, this was way a uh, while before the birth of Christ, uh, but I'm going to tell you what today, uh, Jesus always has been, He is today, and He always will be today. Uh, listen, I'm uh, forever and forevermore. Uh, listen, he was there uh, while with Shadrach, uh, Meshach, and Abednego. Uh, they was facing death, uh, but in death, uh, what was with them, they was life. Oh, today, uh, so many times, oh, wow, people today, uh, they see uh, just the negatives in the world that we're living in. Oh, listen, this morning, all the stuff that we hear uh, while upon TV and social media sometimes and everything uh, like this. Uh, uh, why? Uh, why is our mindset always on the negative? Uh, uh, listen, I uh, hope and pray. Oh, we can get on the positive things. Uh, uh, what is that today? It's the promises of the Lord Jesus Christ that He give us life and through Him uh, we have life and we have it more abundantly today. In Jesus. So why not either way just serve the Lord? Uh, listen, this morning, that's one of those things that's easier said than done. Uh, because sometimes, uh, while when our bodies are hurting, uh, sometimes when we get tired, sometimes when we get in situations in life uh, where we just can't see. Uh, while the light in the tunnel, if you had it this morning, sometimes we get discouraged. Uh, but listen, that's when he wants you and I to be the most faithful. Uh, that's when he wants you and I uh, to stand and do all that we can do. Uh, while we've done that, uh, that's just when he takes over. Uh, uh, listen, this for the timing of the Lord Jesus Christ is perfect. Uh, I'll show you one thing. Uh, I believe with everything that's in me uh, why uh, the Lord could have showed up uh, before Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego ever went in that fiery fire he could have showed up uh, and they wouldn't have had to went through that. Uh, but listen, uh, they went through what they did. Uh, why they might glorify God. Uh, why the people around there uh, might see uh, the glory of God today. I uh, list the book of John. Uh, why do you remember when Lazarus was dead? Uh, why I'm there Jesus went to raise him uh, from the dead? Uh, why then uh, three days? Uh, and listen, uh, there when they took him there. What was it all about? It was that all the people around uh, might see the glory uh, oh, of God. Uh, listen this morning. Uh, sometimes I wonder about the day and times uh, uh, that you and I are living in today. What's it all about? I still believe if we'll look at the right frame of mind and have our heart where it needs to be, it's for the world. I might still see the glory of God. I uh, listen, might see God's people uh, just either way being faithful unto the Lord Jesus Christ and knowing uh, what the outcome is that we won victory through Jesus over death, hell, and the grave. Uh, listen, we're going to serve uh, the Lord with the best of our abilities. Uh, listen today, uh, while the Bible says that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, uh, when they was taken up out, from that fiery furnace, listen. Oh, I like that, don't you? How they was taken up. How listen today? How someday? How while when this life passes away? How I, all that's going to stand is the Word of God, and the Word of God teaches me. How while that those that remain, how what are they going to be? They're going to be taken up. How listen the cloud? How to be with the Lord? No, those are forever and forevermore. Listen this morning. They was taken up. And the Bible says that they wouldn't even singe. Uh, nothing was burned upon them. Uh, nothing was harmed about them. Uh, listen, why? 
Oh, because they was right there for the Son of God. How oh, listen today, how oh, what does that mean for you and I? We know that our earthly bodies are tabernacles. How oh, we know they how they sometimes a sickness comes to them and everything of this nature, how that, that which remains on the inside, it seals the day of redemption. That's what it talks about. How uh, while they're in the book of Peter, how uh, there's nothing that can harm it. How uh, uh, listen, there's no uh, disease that can take it away today. How uh, listen, the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ that's been applied unto our hearts and souls is there forever. It cannot be taken away. So why not in the day and times that we live, either way, just serve the Lord. Just praise Him this morning. Yeah for who he is and for what he's done and the promises that he's promised all oh, unto you and I. Uh, listen this morning, how uh, the king, he had a new outlook, didn't he? Uh, While well, when he's seen, I believe you'll have it this morning, the working of the true and living God, how uh, the glory of God, what he looked upon, he had a new outlook on things. Uh, listen, how many times in our life have we seen the working of the Lord Jesus Christ and we have a new outlook on things, how things look different unto you and I. When we get just a little glimpse, oh, the Lord Jesus Christ, oh, just a little bit of glimpse, <laughs> oh, of him today and his love and mercy and grace today. Uh, listen, that king had a different outlook. Uh, why he began to spread the word and tell those that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, uh, this God that they serve, he's the only one. He's the true and living God. Uh, listen, how does that sound familiar today, the gospel message that the world needs to hear today? But he's just one today, and his name is Jesus. There's only one name under heaven that men and women, boys and girls, that might be saved. And it's Jesus today. Amen. What's the answer to it all? Oh, oh, this morning, it's not Republican, Democrat, liberal. It's not that day. Oh, but it's Jesus. It's Jesus Christ today. Uh, listen, so church today, I'll be encouraged either way. Serve the Lord. Oh, if you're going through a fiery furnace in your life, uh, listen, just serve him today. Uh, listen, if you're listening, uh, while you're discouraged this morning, uh, you're going through sickness, you're going through troubles and trials, uh, listen, you're worried about family members and all of these things, uh, uh, listen, that you're going through, uh, Jesus is still king. Uh, he's still uh, at the right hand of the Father. He's still alive and well today. Uh, listen, so don't waver from your faith. Uh, I don't wait from what you believe in. Uh, listen, he brought us, has uh, saved us far. And I'll show you one thing. He's going to see us all the way through. He did for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, didn't he? Because either way, they just served the Lord. So church this morning, as Taylor comes with a song, and him comes uh, to the piano this morning, be encouraged in the Lord Jesus Christ. I'll be encouraged in him this morning. Stand and do all that you can do to stand. How listen, it teaches us that in the book of Ephesians, doesn't it? How listen, it talks about all the fiery darts and, and all that stuff. It tells, and the Bible it says just to stand and do all that you can do to stand. How listen today, if God be for us, uh, who can be against us? Don't you love uh, why those promises stay uh, where it says we're more than conquerors through him that loves us? Uh, and who is that? It's Jesus today. And so as we stand to our feet, uh, be encouraged in the Lord Jesus Christ. And if you're back there this morning and the Lord Jesus Christ is knocking on uh, your heart's door and you know that you're lost, I can't think of no better day, no better time than the common except the Lord uh, Jesus Christ is your Savior this morning. As we stand to our feet, church, uh, be encouraged in the Lord Jesus Christ.
Either way, serve him today. Either way, praise him. Uh, listen, sometimes in life, uh, when things come along, have you ever been there? Oh, when you just don't feel like praising him that much. Uh, uh, listen, but you begin. I uh, want to lift your hands. I uh, lift your heart towards the Lord Jesus Christ and begin to praise him. And listen, lift his name up. And then the things that you're going through, how they just begin to be how just a little bit dimmer. How on the bright that you notice and see. How listen is Jesus today. How either way, let's serve him. Either way, let's praise him today. How give him the praise he deserves. How listen, never forget he's the one. How why to give his life for you and I and shed his life blood on Calvary. Oh, that you and I. Uh, that we might go free. Yeah. Uh, listen, you want to say it? Oh, we might go free today. Uh, listen, uh, that's why I praise him this morning. Because even this world that we live in, Satan wants us to feel bound uh, down today. Yeah. Oh, we're free in Jesus. <laughs> oh, this morning, as Taylor sings, if you're lost, just come can be saved. You feel bound down this morning. Oh, you can be free this morning uh, just through faith and belief in the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, let him see faith this morning, church. Oh, just do the little old things. Uh, just stand and listen and on his time. Oh, we see the glory of God. I love that this morning. Oh, this morning, won't you say, God oh, bless us. God, as we start out through this holiday season, God, we hope and pray, God, that we can remember 
what it's all about, God, and what we need to be remembering in our lives, God, and the things that you've given us and the gift that you gave us in Jesus Christ and that path to salvation. God, we pray, Lord, that we can keep that in the forefront of our minds as we go through this season, God, that we might do everything we can to lift your name up and make sure you're the reason for this season that, that we can let the world know what we believe in and what, who we love and who we, re- who we rely on for everything in our lives, God. Go with us. Lead God and direct us throughout this week. Be with us. These things we ask in thy name. Amen. Amen. Amen.